Uh, so hi everyone. Today we will be discussing about what is uh, parsing, uh, text parsing in NLP, and how it is useful. What are different types of parsing? So let's first of all understand what is parsing. Parsing basically means uh, like dividing your uh, sentence or text into multiple segments. Now these segments can have a single word or multiple words as well. So the first question that arrives in your head is why do we need parsing? Second thing, we already have something called as POS tagging, part of speech tagging, where we are providing certain tags to each of the uh, each and every word in the sentence. Uh, you can refer to my previous videos on POS tagging. So, uh, if we already have POS tagging, why is parsing re even required? So, let's understand what additional parsing is bringing into the NLP picture. So, let's look at uh, these noun and verb phrases. A handsome guy, a blue umbrella, is writing can't eat. A noun phrase is a group of words acting as a noun. So uh, usually the what we do is uh, we have a single noun in a sentence but noun phrases means that it's a, a collection of words in a sentence that is acting as a noun, a single noun. So you can see that a handsome guy is at the door for example. So in this case a handsome guy is acting as a single noun. Now it is called as a noun phrase. Similarly verb phrase is a group of words acting as a verb in the sentence. Now uh, coming back Okay, why do we need these segments? So, uh, parsing help us to uh, determine the relationship between different words used in the sentence. So, in case of POS tagging, for example, assume that we have the sentence the blue umbrella, where we will get tags like the determine determiner, blue is adjective and umbrella is noun. So, uh, assume that we applied some POS tagging method and we have got these tags, but there is nowhere mentioned that blue has been used for the word umbrella. So this association, this relationship is conveyed to the machine learning model uh, using uh, parsing. So we would be uh, determining different types of parsing uh, in the coming section. Uh, so parsing can be done into three methods. First being a syntactic parsing one, which is a rule based method. So what we are trying to achieve is that we are trying to divide the sentence into sub phrases. You can look uh, for an example, John sees Bill. In this case, you can see how using syntactic parsing, we can break down the sentence. Uh, now this particular structure that you can see a tree structure is called as a parse tree in which the end tokens the leaves of the tree uh, hold on the POS tags while uh, the nodes uh, the nodes uh, where the uh, branches are taking place holds on the uh, the parse uh, the particular parsing structure for that particular segment the tag for the parsing structure that the particular collection of words what do we call them so here you can see that we have a single word john as a noun phrase and the verb phrase we have sees bill now this is a collectively a phrase a verb phrase and eventually in the verb phrase also you can see that we still have a verb and a noun phrase again now the nodes as you can see that how the multiple branches that are coming in joins together so verb phrase indicate that these words are uh, acting as a verb together now now the next one being a dependency parsing, uh, it uh, it aims to break the sentence in, uh, by de uh, depending upon the relationship between the words. So John sees Bill, as you can see in the example, uh, gets divided as subject and object. So, so John is the subject and object is Bill. The last one means semantic parsing. Uh, it is the toughest of the lot. So it's aim at trans uh, transforming your sentence into a logical formal representation, something sort of a sequel. So if you have a sentence like how many runs did Dhoni score in the last match, uh, it, semantic parsing will try to uh, reformulate this particular sentence, segment this, uh, segment this particular sentence in such a way that you will get, uh, you can run a query on the sentence and get an answer like select runs from a match where player equals to Dhoni. So, uh, what we are trying to achieve is that just try to understand the meaning of the sentence and eventually you can uh, get the uh, you can get answers to different questions.